Once upon a time there was a rabbit in Brazil and he decided to go to China. It was his life mission. It was his decision after he had a long chat with his parents what he would do with his life. He decided that China was his destination. He really wanted to find out what this place is all about. So one day he started going and jumping and walking towards China. And after two days of walking and jumping and running and going towards China, he got very hungry and he saw a cow. He went over to the cow and said, hey, do you have something to eat for me? And the cow said, well, just go ahead and eat the grass, I do it. And the rabbit explained, I'm really fed up with grass. I've been eating it for almost all my life and I really want to change some things about my life. The cow kind of understood what he meant. So he said, what about the leaves on the tree here? And uh, the rabbit couldn't reach the, the leaves and the cow also came to realize his neck is not long enough to reach the leaves. So they discussed it for a while and uh, the rabbit said, look, I'm hungry, but uh, I think you can't help me. I think I'm gonna go. And the rabbit kept walking and going and jumping towards China. At some point, he reached the ocean, but he didn't know what the ocean is. He was really surprised about that much water. What is all this water doing here? Right next to Brazil. How come it's there? He was asking himself all these questions, but of course couldn't answer, answer them because he has never seen the ocean before. He saw a mouse and asked the mouse, hey, what is this water? What, what is this? And uh, the mouse said, well, it's the ocean. You have never seen it? The rabbit said, no. Well, it is between uh, continents. And the rabbit kind of understood what he meant, but not really continent, yeah. Sounded like something really big. The rabbit said, I want to go to China, you know. And is this China? Is, is all this water here China? And the mouse said, no, no, no. This is the ocean and if you want to get to China, you have to cross the ocean. And the rabbit said, how the hell am I going to do that? The mouse said, well, look right over there. There's a ship. Maybe you will find a job on the ship and they will hire you. And you will be able to cross the ocean. You see that one, which is red and has these weird signs on them? Well, I think that ship is going to China. The r rabbit uh, thanked the mouse a lot and said, hey, maybe I will see you sometime. But for now, I will have to reach my destination. Thank you, goodbye. The rabbit made like three or four or five big jumps towards the ship and reached it. He was lucky. There was the captain right there in front of him. So the rabbit said, hey, can you hire me? I want to be on your ship. I want to go to China. And the captain answered in a very weird language that he's not from China. He's from Japan. And the rabbit was completely puzzled. What is Japan? I've never heard of it. I want to go to China. So the captain said, well, I can take you to Japan and from there you can get to China. It's not so far. The rabbit said, fine, I will come with you. I don't care so much about your country, Japan, but if it's close to China, I will come with you. 
So the Japanese captain said, that's awesome because we need somebody who can clean the deck. The rabbit said, I'm your man. I will do it every day. I will do my best job and you will have somebody who will work for you and I will have somebody who will hire me. So we will both win. This is really fantastic. After about 20 minutes, the ship started going towards Japan and going and going and going and going towards Japan. It was a rough ocean, really going crazy. But the rabbit did his job every day, just how he promised. After about six weeks, they reached Japan. And I can tell you, the rabbit was really not satisfied with Japan. He didn't want to stay there for long. A couple of days passed by until the rabbit found out how he would actually get to China. And right before he, st he started to jump, go and walk towards China, he met a manga character right on the street of Tokyo. He has never ever seen anything like it. The manga character, the girl, was really surprised that the rabbit want, would want to go to China. He said, are you crazy? You want to go to China? That's very dangerous for you. And the rabbit didn't understand. Why would that be dangerous for him? Why would she say that? China must be really something, a nice place, beautiful. You will have rice every day. But the manga said, look, in China they eat rabbits. Are you crazy to go there? Stay here, stay in Japan. Tokyo is a n nice place and you will meet manga characters every day. But the rabbit was like, well, I'm not so happy with you and your character and all. I think it's really not my thing and China is my place. If they want to eat me, I will fight them. So the manga sa character said, fine, do whatever you want. And the rabbit said, exactly, that's what I will do. So he started going and jumping and walking towards China. The end.